In this video I'm going to give you a bit of extra information about types of alcohols. Alcohols can be classified as primary, secondary or tertiary, depending on where the alcohol is attached to the carbon chain. These differences in structure affect the way the molecule reacts, as you'll discover when we start looking at reactions. A primary alcohol has the OH group on an end carbon. This means that the carbon to which the OH is attached is only attached to one other carbon. This is 1-butanol, an example of a primary alcohol. A secondary alcohol has the OH group on a middle carbon. This means that if you look at the carbon to which the OH group is attached, it's attached to two other carbons. This is 3-pentanol, or pentanthriol, and that's an example of a secondary alcohol. Finally, a tertiary alcohol has the OH group on a middle carbon that has another substituent attached to it. This means the carbon to which the OH is attached is attached to three other carbons. This one is called 2-methylbutantuol. Note that we don't specify in the name whether the alcohol is primary, secondary or tertiary. You have to draw the structure out to figure that out. Another kind of alcohol that it's worth being able to recognise is the phenol. A phenol consists of an alcohol group attached to a benzene ring. Although it's technically an alcohol, the proximity of the aromatic ring has an effect on the alcohol group, which means it doesn't behave in quite the same way as an ordinary alcohol. Exactly how and why that is can be left for another course, but when you're assigning functional groups, it is important to recognise that a phenol is not counted as an ordinary alcohol. It is a group of its own. Phenols turn up in a number of places. Let me show you a couple of common examples. There's salicylic acid, which is found in willow bark and is used to make aspirin. And this is thymol, which is the oil that is a major component of the aroma of the herb thyme. Just as a quick aside, here's a good demonstration of how sensitive your nose is at detecting different organic molecules. This is the structure of menthol, which is the stuff in peppermint essence and Vicks Vaporub and cough lollies that has that strong minty smell. Notice that the structure is almost identical to that of thymol, except that the ring is not aromatic. So the receptor proteins in your nose, when they come into contact with thymol, send a thyme flavour signal to your brain, whereas the menthol molecule causes a minty signal. Lastly, here's a class of molecules known as the urushiols. These are based on the phenol structure with an extra OH group. The R group in this structure can be one of a number of different hydrocarbons, and I've listed some examples here. They tend to be long hydrocarbon chains. You can see the first example is 14 CH2s in a row, followed by a CH3, so that's a 15 carbon chain. The next is also a 15 carbon chain, but it has a double bond in the middle. And the others are all variations on this. This class of compounds are a powerful irritant and are found in a family of plants that include poison ivy and poison oak and cashews. And this is why cashews are never sold in their shells. It's the shells that contain the urushiols.